Hello again, it's um, Joey from McGuire. I'm in the um, Plough and Harrow in Hammersmith, Witherspoon's Pub, one of my favourites, uh, complete with band, which I obtained uh, from the army guys doing the collection two days ago for the uh, six young men who died in Afghanistan recently. Very sorry I don't know their names, but uh, in a way I've written this poem called War, my latest poem, uh, with them in mind. Uh, and although it's an anti-war uh, poem, uh, in a way it's to honour those fallen soldiers. There's the band again. Okay. My latest poem, War. <coughs> Like cancer, it is malignant, spreads itself like an amoeba, is born of deception, enveloping everything in its path. It bears malice with violent intention, will marry or malign with almost anyone, anything, in its untamable vir virulence, and like water will pursue the weakness of gravity, finding fault in the toughest of granite. It is without doubt deadly, a viral infection without cure, for it has reoccurred with frequency, showing itself to be above resistance, claiming its pivotal place in man's history, and only survives in man. Death comes and is made by its persistent intent always follows in its shadow, all too often innocent souls left to bear the brunt and uphold its existence, to die in someone else's name, fighting someone else's cause. It is capable of mass destruction, nuclear in, in its creation, having claimed more human souls than all the natural disasters combined and whereas we would run from an earthquake, flee in terror from a tsunami, we approach war head on. Like lambs to slaughter, we lie butchered on some distant battlefield, having fed its tempestuous nature with blood-curdling regularity, only to realize that with death comes futility, for peace is always short-lived, and on its own can never be a cure, for that will only ever come with our destruction. <laughs>